Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny, where we do an unnecessary amount of haulage. You know what? There's always a really good reason for it. And I feel like in our six years of a committed relationship, we really don't need an excuse for a haul, right? So today we're going to focus on things that I bought for summer. Um, and because I didn't know that Walmart carried them. Okay, for those of you that are new around here, I'm engaged. <laughs> this was a home divided, you guys. So when I met Parker, my fiance, he was like, Walmart's where it's at. We do all our shopping at Walmart. I'm a Walmart fan. He downloaded the app on my phone and he was like, this is how you do the Walmart thing. So I was like, okay, you know what? I love you. And there's very few things in this world that I won't do for you. So if you're a fan of Walmart, I'm gonna become a convert for you. And so slowly I find myself shopping there more and more, including exploring the internet marketplace of walmart.com. It can be a problem, really. Anyway, you guys, this video is made in partnership with Walmart and when I got the opportunity to do this video, I was really excited because I may or may not have already had these overalls in my Walmart shopping cart. So my entire outfit today is from Walmart, <laughs> believe it or not. I really need to stay away from the juniors department, you guys. I'm 35 years old and I insist on shopping from the juniors department, but I insist because I really like it. I mean, my t-shirt was $5, you guys. Isn't it cute? And you can't even see, but it has a little star right there. This is from the Ellen DeGeneres brand at Walmart. And then these overalls, I kind of got this inspiration from my friend Callie over at uh, But First Coffee blog. She had them in denim, and so I got them in black because I already have like seven pairs of blue blue denim overalls. Okay, you, you guys are here for the haul, and we are going to do a haul. Now, this haul was a major discovery for me because there are a couple of products that I didn't know that Walmart carried. So no one's unfamiliar that Walmart is your one-stop shop for everything. But what was news to me was that a lot of these brands that I actually shop from are available on walmart.com. I know, it's like beauty for everyone, you guys. I was able to get foundation, hair tools, perfume, and from brands that you wouldn't expect to find at Walmart. So I purchased all of these items myself. They were delivered in two days and I may or may not have them on my face right now. So do you guys want to jump in? So we kind of focused around summer, bronzy, skin wellness, makeup. Okay, there really was no theme. I just randomly hauled a bunch of stuff and I'm just hoping that we can bond over the love of beauty products and now, <sighs> Parker, how am I gonna explain this to Parker? He already knows the stores that I shot from and now I'm adding Walmart to the mix, but you know what I could do is I could totally spin it and be like, you know, this is totally your fault. You created a Walmart monster, now deal buddy. <laughs> you guys, I wasn't, I wasn't kidding when I said that I, that I hauled from Walmart. Um, so we're gonna get into this real quick because the video isn't gonna be real quick, but I do wanna talk about the products that I'm wearing on my face right now because when I tell you the brands, you're gonna be like, Danny, you've officially lost me. Did you fall on your head this morning? Maybe, but that's not the point. The point is that I'm actually wearing a Stila face palette that I found on walmart.com. Yeah. All right, you guys, grab yourself a snack because today we're gonna do quite an extensive haul video, starting with my outfit, just kidding. All the details on my makeup, jewelry, outfit will be listed and linked in the description box below as will all of these items that I hauled from Walmart because I have very poor self-control. Okay, so I've divided my haul into groups. We're gonna focus on beauty and makeup. We're gonna talk about sun care. We're gonna talk about hair. We're gonna be here for a hot minute. So seriously, go take a potty break and bring a bag of chips or popcorn or whatever you guys um, like to eat. All right, you guys, the very first item is what's actually on my skin right now. I'm currently wearing the Flower Light Illusion all day wear broad spectrum broad spectrum SPF 18. Okay, this is a new foundation from Flower Beauty that comes in an extensive variety of colors. Super excited about that. Um, I ordered one shade on a whim online and it was my exact shade. Well, it was my exact tan shade. And I have to say, I'm digging this foundation. Okay, so it is a full coverage but it is a super luminous finish. So this would be a great foundation for those of you with dry skin. And if you're wondering what shade I ordered, I ordered Soft Sand or M2. 
And um, like I said, super luminous finish. I set it with a powder, which is why it doesn't look as luminous, but when you put it on your skin, you would think there is a highlighter in there, which brings me to my next purchase from Flower Beauty. Um, not this, although this is one of them. So I wanted to try this. This is their liquid illuminizer in a dewy finish. It comes in two or three different shades. You guys know I'm a fan of liquid highlighters. In fact, when I got engaged for our engagement pictures, I just wore cream products. Who does that? This nut right here. We were in humid Mexico and I just wore a cream blush, a cream highlighter. I'm such a fan. I love the look of bare skin with a liquid highlighter. So I thought flower. I'm trying to venture more or rather focus more of my energy into cruelty free drugstore brands. I know I'm biting off way more than I can chew, but I'm up for the challenge. So flower beauty is already a brand that I was already a fan of. I love their flower pop blushes. I'm a huge fan of their two in one um, matte and metallic lip duo. Honey Nude, you guys, add it to your cart right now and thank me later. It's one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I don't know why I did that. Like, I think this makes it more official. So also from Flower Beauty, I got their three-in-one blending sponge. I actually prefer this over Real Techniques. So there are a lot of beauty blender dupes, which I can tell you honestly, like cold hard truth, there are no beauty blender dupes. The material that Beauty Blender uses is patented, I think is the right word. Um, so there's never gonna be an exact dupe. There is, however, going to be something that gives you similar results um, and ease, ease of use or comfort of use. So when it comes to the texture of the sponge, you're never gonna find a Beauty Blender dupe. However, if you wanted to order an actual Beauty Blender, Walmart.com actually carries them, so you're welcome for that. Um, but this one, I really love how it expands with water. I love the texture of it once it's wet, but I also love that I can use it when it's dry, so it's a really great sponge. Like I said, I prefer this over the Real Techniques one, so when I'm looking for a drugstore alternative to a beauty sponge, this is the only one that I like to use. So that's also from Flower Beauty. Um, another product that is actually exclusive to Walmart is the Glowy Dewy Mist um, with coconut and argan oil from e.l.f. There are certain products that are exclusive to Walmart, which I didn't know. How cool is that? So they have different categories um, of like their best sellers or um, high-end prestige brands that they carry. And then there's also certain products that are only exclusive to Walmart, which I thought was cool. Um, I love the dewy look. I love the really light makeup look. So I thought this would be a great um, tool to use on a bare skin day because of the coconut and argan oil. Or on top of makeup, when I go a little too matte and it's not really my look or my preference, I could spray this on top. I'm kind of wondering how this smells because Oh wow, it has a milky look to it. So it is a white spray, but it smells really, really good. It smells super tropical, really like that. I'm looking forward to using that. Um, I also nabbed this little Bioderma because you guys know that I've been on the hunt to uh, find a substitute for my makeup remover. Um, and I saw this on the uh, Walmart website. I don't know, however, though, if it's cruelty free, so I'll have to get back to you guys on that, but it had really great reviews. And I was like, Bioderma? Do you guys remember when Bioderma came to the US? It was really hard to find before. It was like a European product, super hard to find in the US. Then it came here and it was still super hard to find because it was always sold out. So when I saw it on the Walmart website, I was like, <laughs> add to cart. You guys are probably wondering what's on my lips. And this is actually a lip gloss from Milani. Now we do have to kind of rant a little bit for a second, if you will allow me. Um, you guys know how I feel about plumping lip glosses or lipsticks. I usually don't like them because they have like a minty flavor and so I have a very low tolerance for minty lip products. However, there are some that I actually quite enjoy. One of which is this one from Milani. So if I'm gonna put anything minty on my lips, it better be plumping but it also better be comfortable and for me, I don't like having that sensation of mint on my lips. This one though is very pleasant and it's very light. It's not something that is going to interrupt you. Have you guys ever tried like a plumping or minty lip gloss that you feel like you're just carrying mint around with you everywhere you go, that like minty, almost like a fiery feeling to it. This is the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper from Milani in the shade Soft Rose. If you guys are looking for a good purse gloss, a gloss that will look great with 
every single color of lip liner or on bare skin or naked lips, this is a really great option. So Soft Rose from Milani on my lips right now. I actually took a couple of pictures of this makeup that I have right now because I was going for a natural makeup look. There's nothing natural about this. I'm wearing a full coverage foundation, but it's the illusion of very light makeup, um, which is why I use this one. Did you guys know that Walmart carried Stila? No, I didn't either. <laughs> Now that I know they do, I've created a monster. So this is the Perfect Me, Perfect Hue Eye and Cheek Palette in the shade Fair Light. We don't need to talk about that. I may be out of place using it because I'm tan, but I really liked one of the blushes in here, so I had to, I had to add it to my cart immediately, put it on my face. So right now I'm actually wearing this shade here as my blush. It's a really beautiful corally peach shade. I'm wearing this as my brow bone highlight. I'm wearing this color here at the base of my lashes and kind of on my eye sh on my eyeshadow. I'm kind of wearing it on my eyeshadow. I'm wearing it on my eyelid and then I blew everything out with this beautiful mauvey plum shade right there. Look at that. How pretty is that color? Love it. This I blame on my friend Tashina from Logical Harmony. So she raved about this foundation brush and she even said, hey, it comes with two other things I don't even use, but the one brush in here, you need it in your life. So the whole point of this set is that you make your own foundation color, like you make the perfect shade, whether you mix a dark and a light and you make your current color or you mix in a moisturizing base or you add a liquid illuminator to your foundation. And so it's a set that um, you can set up on your vanity. I don't know if you guys can see the little display um, and you can customize your own foundation, whatever. So this is the paddle that you would use and this is the buffer that you would use for your face. This is really cool because this little plate not only does it have feet, but it's really weighted. Like it has weight to it. It comes with a lid so you can cover it so your product doesn't get, you know, dust or whatever in it from when you're at your vanity. Um, then you have, these are all synthetic products. Um, you have your little paddle brush. This one though is the entire reason why I bought this product. I don't know if you guys can see the mixed bristles in there. When Tashina uses this for her foundation, I just, I want to steal her skin. So she said it's the best vegan foundation brush ever on the entire planet in the entire world. And I'm like, well, if Tashina says so, then I need it in my life. So I bought this whole set of stuff for this brush. I'll have to report back. I think I'm going to use it in a get ready with me coming up and I'll have to let you guys know what I think about it because the, my favorite, favorite foundation brush is this one and it's like $50. So big price difference. <laughs> Hopefully this is as magical as Tashina says. Moving on to hair. A lot of you guys told me that my favorite detangler ever was carried by Walmart. Now, I don't want to say this out loud, but I was like, they probably are thinking a different brand that I'm talking about. So when you guys would comment, oh, you can get that detangler at Walmart. I was like, they're probably thinking of a different brand, for sure. They must be. They, they mustn't be. <laughs> you guys, I used to have to drive to my local salon and get this there, and now that I know that Walmart carries it, I'm like, um, yeah, thank you. Okay, first of all, it smells amazing. Second of all, it works. And third of all, it's not just a detangler. It's also a heat protectant, um, and it helps you style your hair. Plus, if you have four little baby hairs like I do, this is a type of product that you want on your team that's not gonna weigh it down, but it's also gonna help keep it soft, shiny, and healthy. Oh God, you guys, it smells so good. Anyway, thank you, Walmart, for carrying this product. Um, I also got two different dry shampoos. Um, I got one from Dove, and this is the um, Fullness, Volume and Fullness variety. Do you guys remember when I did that campaign with Dove? Oh my gosh. I fell in love with their dry shampoos, but mostly with the way they smell. Like, it's like perfume for your hair. And I know you're not supposed to put stuff in your hair that's perfume, but when it's dry shampoo, it has a purpose, so it counts, right? <laughs> so I got this one for fullness, but because I was like, well, it is a summer haul, so I kind of want to get something that smells good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is the Tropical, Coconut and Exotic Tropical from Batiste. And if it doesn't work for my fine hair, I could always give this to Sam because I know she's a huge fan of Batiste. Kind of a random hair find. Um, I've had my hair wand. I don't like to use curling irons because I feel like 
a little more clumsy when I use them. Um, so I've been wanting to upgrade my wand to something newer because my wand already rattles. Like the handle from the actual wand wiggles and I can't imagine that's safe. So <laughs> I found this from Bedhead TG, the Curly Pops one and a quarter inch uh, tourmaline ceramic tapered styling iron. It is a wand that tapered and you can heat it up to 400. Now I've never tried a tapered wand, but I thought that because my hair is short and it's flat, lacks volume, this might actually be my new best friend. I kind of want to get into this thing um, and open it. I don't have scissors here, y'all. Two hours later. <laughs> Those packages are the worst to open. Okay, so I really love the fact that it's not a clip wand. I, I can't use curling irons. I can, but I feel more confident in the clipless type irons so I thought okay I have like two and a half baby hairs um, which one would be most useful for like my super fine hair so I imagine myself using it like this and so the curls would get smaller at the end and there would be a lot more root lift at the top which is essentially what you want and then there you have the completed look so I'm really looking forward to using this plus it's kind of cool looking isn't it let's talk about something that I'm a little salty about you guys know my experience with with body wash but I'm 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 hopeful and I'm positive and I know that if I stay on this body wash journey I'm gonna be able to find a drugstore holy grail body wash for me I love a body wash already but it is pricey I want one that when I'm on my Walmart run or that I'm doing an online purchase for another pair of these overalls that I can just add it to my cart and uh, I know it's gonna it's gonna love me back and so I'm a little salty about body wash but I ordered two um, and I feel hopeful for these I'm actually already using one of them so it's it's about halfway used right now, you guys, if I'm completely honest. So this is the Native Body Wash in Coconut Vanilla. I use the Native deodorant, and I'm a huge fan. I didn't know they had a body wash, so adds to cart immediately. Anything that's coconut vanilla or mango coconut or pineapple coconut, I'm like, yes, please. So I've been using this in the shower. I love how it suds up, and I love, I love the packaging. Look at how cool this is. It's a rectangle, so if you wanted to stand it on its head, hello, it works great. You know, you don't have to balance it against the corner of the shower or like hide it behind your shampoo bottle so that it can come down to the bottom. Do you guys remember how I used to store my body wash? This is how I like to store it. And then I got another one in case that one doesn't like fill my love tank. I got one from Love, Beauty, and Planet in Coconut Ling Ling. Ling Ling. I think I'm saying that right. Um, this is a hydrating body wash. I haven't tried this one. I'm excited to. It smells amazing. It smells like it would wake me up in the shower. It's more floral than coconutty. So this is another one that I'm gonna have to update you guys on. And then I got a product from Shea Moisture. Actually, there's another one of Shea Moisture in here. Um, this is the Clarifying Facial Wash and Scrub. Now, I actually got this for the P, my fiance. This is a facial scrub. So Parker asked me the other day if I had an, um, an exfoliator, right? And so I gave him a cotton pad that was wet and I told him to rub it on his face. And he's like, no, I, I meant an exfoliator, like, you know, something with that's like rough and has like little pebbles in it. And I was like, oh, that's a chemical exfoliator. And he's like, that's not what I want to use. I want something with little texture in it. So you know how guys are once they have their mind made up for certain things like that's what they want to use. And so for me, I notice my skin works better when I use a chemical exfoliant. With a chemical exfoliant, I feel like it's easier to remember to use it. There is no cleanup. It's usually similar to like a toner um, or you could do it in the shower, but there's no texture to it. There's no grit. Um, he wanted something with grit. So I was like, okay, fine. So we picked up the Shea Moisture um, facial scrub. So if the boy wants texture, we're giving him texture with this one from Shea Moisture. I feel a lot more comfortable telling Parker, here, use this. You want your texture, your grit? There you go from Shea Moisture. You're welcome. Okay, anyway, moving on. We're going to talk about sun care. We're at 
probably the tail end of summer, but I feel like the season's a little mixed up and we're probably gonna have summer for a little bit longer. And so my kids like to be outside. I like to be outside. We spend a lot of our time outside. I mean, how else am I gonna nurture this beautiful tan? You know what I'm saying? So, um, Bear Republic is an amazing brand that Walmart carries. Do you guys wanna know a secret? Bear Republic is actually the same brand as Kula. So if you wanted to use Kula products at a Walmart budget, then uh, we're gonna talk about a couple of my favorite products. So I got this big daddy size. I used the smaller one real quick. So I just got the big giant size of the SPF 50 uh, vanilla cocoa. Okay, I just realized my addiction to everything coconut. So this is a spray on sunscreen. Do you guys remember we were talking about like, how long does your child sit still to allow you to like blend in a squeeze um, sunscreen on them? So anything that is a spray sunscreen, sign me up. This one smells really, really good. It is a mineral sunscreen, so it is a healthier brand. Um, and then I also got this one for their face, or rather for my face, let's be honest. This is the sheer finish of the Bear Republic mineral sunscreen. Um, it's SPF 30. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's a little tube like this. So this is actually TSA approved if you were to travel. This is one of my favorite um, mineral sunscreens that has a very sheer finish. So you could blend it in really good and still put your makeup over it or just go to the pool, go to the beach and not have that like white demarcation line of your favorite amazing sunscreen. This one here is a great one because it's the sport formula. Um, it stays on the skin like real good. And because it is a stick, I rub it on my children. <laughs> it's hard to put this on their face, okay? So we actually have one of these in our water park bag. Our water park bag is a bag that I have in the laundry room, and it's kind of like something where I just grab it on the way out. It has their floaties, their towels, their sunscreen, and their uh, water bottles. I just fill those up and we're good to go because we have season passes. So we have one of these in there. And this is a really cool stick because I just do like a swoop across their face and across their forehead and then just blend it in really quick. And if they run away, that's on them. Like they think if they, they have like little cool little stripes on their face, that's totally fine. But I feel better as a mom being able to put something this quick on them. Plus I can also say, hey, get it out of the bag and put it on yourself and kind of empower them and start teaching them life skills on their own. The importance of using sun protection, right? Speaking of sun protection, another product from Shea Moisture that I really want to try. I told you guys when I went to Mexico, I used a spray on after sun mist, but this gel actually has really good reviews and it's also a Walmart exclusive product. This is the Shea Moisture Go-To Cola and Raspberry Seed Oil After Sun Body Gelée. So let's open this Sucarito and see what it smells like. I wish I wasn't so easily persuaded by the way things smell. <laughs> Like that's like my number one priority is like, oh, you smell good? Okay, cool, I'll use you. All right, let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it's a really light blue jelly. I just got it on my nose. It smells really good. Oh wow, it's really lightweight. Do you guys see that? Super lightweight. It thins out really nice. I can imagine this feels amazing if you store it in the fridge. It's very cooling and this is at room temperature. Super, super cooling. This probably feels really good after sun for sure. Um, and I love how lightweight and thin the gel is. So listen, if you just got a sunburn, you don't wanna be rubbed down for a long time. So being able to spread out that easy and seeing how hydrating it is, I think it would feel really, really nice. Two more items and we're done because like I said, self-control doesn't live here, you guys. Um, one is kind of a random item. This is the Dr. Bronner's um, 18 in one hemp almond pure Castile soap. So I used to use this one in lavender to wash my brushes. Um, I didn't know that it came in different scents. So like I feel about coconut, I feel about almond, so Oh my gosh, it smells like Italian cookies. Oh, that smells so good. And my makeup brushes are gonna smell like that now too. This is such a good product, you guys. It's not just for cleaning makeup brushes. It has so many different uses in your home. And if you're trying to go a little more green in your home, you're gonna get a million uses out of this product. And I love that it comes in different scents because I feel like oftentimes when we try to make healthier choices for our home, um, we're very limited to scent options. It's either gonna be lavender or 
unscented. So this one actually comes in different scents. There's almond, there's unscented, there's um, lavender. What's the other one? Uh, there's a bunch of choices on the Walmart site. The last one I'm really excited about, but I'm a little nervous because I am one to rarely change up my fragrance. I've been using the same like two perfumes for about five years now. And so this is one that I really wanted to use and I was looking for any excuse to pull the trigger. Walmart carried it, so why not? This is a uh, perfume from Juliet Has a Gun in Moscow Mule. Yes, like the cocktail beverage. Um, I wanted to try it, but I didn't want to get the big giant bottle. So this one comes in a smaller size. I don't remember the... It is 0.25 fluid ounces, so it's only a quarter of an ounce. It's a small spray bottle, and it smells like Moscow Mule, so why wouldn't you? Oh my gosh, it is perfect for summer, you guys. So good. It smells, it smells like you're walking on the boardwalk in San Diego. Do you guys... Are you guys familiar? That's totally what it reminds me of. It smells so good, so fresh. It's very citrusy. Let me see if there's a description on the back. Moscow Mule is an exhilarating and vibrant composition evoking lime and ginger of the edgy cocktail. Citrusy and floral served in frozen metallic bottle reminiscent of the copper mugs. Y'all, that's exactly what it smells like. Ginger and lime. I am officially a fan. I don't know if I should put this in my purse because I'm kind of freak accident prone and I know I'll probably end up doing something with this bottle that shouldn't happen. It's a glass bottle. I hope that Parker likes it because switching up a scent, you guys, that's a touchy subject. You know, the other day I tried to switch up my body lotion, which I actually omitted out of this haul. So I bought a new body lotion from Nivea smells super good. It's for ultra dry skin, so it gives you a really beautiful glow. It was also a part of this haul. I came to bed and he's like, oh, are we trying something new? So he didn't disapprove, but he notices. So I hope he really loves this fragrance because it smells really good and you can get it on the Walmart site. Hey, maybe if I tell him I got it from Walmart, he'll be like, definitely Parker approved. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. Like any and all my hauls, I will list and link all of these products in the description box below. You guys, I'm torn because I'm super excited that now you guys know that walmart.com is super inclusive when it comes to brands like NARS, Beauty Blender, Stila. But at the same time, I'm morally conflicted because now I'm encouraging you guys to, to place a walmart.com order. But you know, the good thing is that it'll arrive in two days. And if you guys needed to spend the $35 to get the free shipping, you could always add this cute outfit to your cart. Just saying. Anyway, I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!